So today is the release of the Ryzen 2.0. We're focusing on two of the chips today, the 2200G and the 2400G. Correct. We have benchmarks and so on and so forth. We do. Um, really excited about these chips because finally AMD have followed through on their, um, well, well what they've been trying to do for a long time and that is gaming without a graphics card. Now the integrated APU on these new Ryzen chips is uh, the new Vega technology so on the Ryzen 3 2200 you've got 8 Vega graphics cores and on the 2400G you've got 11 Vega mm -hmm. graphics cores and this means finally you can mix it up in the latest cycles at reasonable settings without a graphics card. So AMD's made the promise in the past and it's not quite been up to scratch but now according to our resources and what we've done they are very good. So the 2400G, to take for example, is equivalent to the 1030 uh, NVIDIA GT, GT 1030. GT 1030, yeah, yeah, with an i5-7400, that kind of range, but at a fraction of the price. Correct. Uh, playing games such as PUBG or Fortnite or Rocket League and such, you can get a sustainable 60 FPS on some of them. When it comes to PUBG, you have to reduce the settings to 720p. If you want the 1080p jump, then you will need to up upgrade your memory which is the RAM and your motherboard and A320 which is the stock speed you wouldn't be able to you'd have to overclock the uh, GPU or the APU and the CPU for up to 40 percent but if you're not if you're happy with that level of gaming then that is fine you're going to get that level of gaming at a really good price you want to pay 20 25 30 quid more for the next board the B350 then you're going to be able to achieve those overclock settings and you're going to be able to achieve them very very easily with the inbuilt in software um, Either way, it's still a perfect price point. Indeed. I mean, you look at consoles and you've got the PlayStation, the Xbox, you can literally just push them aside, sell them off, use the money for this. Yeah, yeah you know, definitely. You could definitely, easily. Definitely use the money for this because of the upgradability factor going forward, and we're going to help you out with that with a very, very special offer. A very special offer indeed. Would you like to retrieve the PC, Dale? I'm going to. Shall I do the elevator or the stairs? Pull? Take. What's well, up to you? I'll take the stairs. Take the stairs. <sighs> Oh, oh god, this is here. The spiral too. stairs. Oh god, oh, they didn't look <coughs> like stairs at all. Ow! Oh, I'm back up. There we go. Right, so this baby is our new range of uh, PCs that are going to use the new uh, Ryzen technology. This is um, a Cooler Master Masterbox light. 3 light. Yeah, um, we're going to do a range of different colour fans in it. This uh, front panel. Pops off so you can change the fans there. We're going to do, you know, blue, white, green, whatever. And these little trims here, you can change, we can change those as well. And you can actually 3D print these to your own specification of color as well. Um, so that's going to be available for you. And of course, the price you're looking around about 400 quid, no graphics card with Windows and an upgradability offer going forward. Correct. So the reason that the lack of GPU in there and they put all the onboard graphics uh, of Vega into like an APU is due to cryptocurrency and crypto mining. Obviously the prices of GPUs today have skyrocketed so you'll be paying for a system that may in a few months be a hell of a lot cheaper, even half the price for the GPU. Let's take this for example. This here. Okay. Asus Dual. Uh, RX 580 at launch, what, 220 quid's worth? 220 quid, yeah. Nowadays, double that easily because of the cryptocurrency mining situation. So what we were thinking is we would offer people a special deal where we'll give you a 20 quid voucher when you buy one of these new Ryzen PCs. And when the pricing of GPU comes back down a little bit and everything's you know leveled up and plateaued and gone a bit more sensible again, we're gonna offer you 20 quid off um, your choice of graphics card if you come back to us to upgrade your Ryzen system. A fantastic idea. So in a sense you're sort of following the market itself when it drops, all the prices drop, use your £20 voucher, get £20 off this and add it to your system if it's needed, if it's needed. We like to give back, see, give giving back, back. giving back to do it. Yeah. Well, it's fantastic. I'm really pleased with it. I'm really pleased with AMD, the promise that they've made and the testing we've gone through. The looking results good. show. It's yeah. looking good. Shall we have a look at some? Indeed. So here we have some PUBG footage. It takes a split second dip there while some detail loads in and then straight away settling comfortably in the 40 to 60 frames per second range. Perfectly playable. Let's have a look at some Fortnite Battle Royale. 
We can see it running smooth as silt there with FPS peaking well into the 60s. And Rocket League during this goal sequence holds steady at 62 frames per second. And in the Cinebench benchmark we can see the Ryzen 5 2400G is very impressive, practically tying with the i7-4770K. So, some pretty impressive results there, we think you'll agree. If you want to get your hands on one of our new PCs featuring the new Ryzen processors, just follow the link 